Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks from the MakersWorkbench.com. I'm your host Charles and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to fix an annoying problem that's been plaguing my PC's audio system for months. So stick around and check it out. Welcome back to the Maker's Workbench. I'm your host, Charles. Today, we're going to take a look at a problem I've been having with my PC. So basically, as you know, I review a lot of uh, computer hardware um, for a couple different websites, including my YouTube channel and my website. Um, and since I review a lot of audio gear, microphones and uh, headsets and stuff like that, my audio profiles are always changing and for some reason something's messed up in my registry or something and I don't know how to fix that. When I boot my computer, it auto sets the playback device to my Patriot Viper V360 headset. Um, you can see I've already changed it here, but it's usually set as the default audio device. Um, and I like for most of the time my default audio device to be my speakers. So that gets really annoying having to change it every time I restart the computer, which is every morning and several times during the day if I'm installing drivers or performing some benchmarks that might crash my system. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a quick bash script that uh, when the computer starts, it will run and automatically set my default device to my speakers. Um, so like I said, we need to download a program called uh, NIRCMD from a company called Nearsoft. And uh, to get it, you can just go to uh, nircmd.nearsoft.net but if you come to this page I'm on which is the uh, set default sound device um, page you can just see the URL here it's uh, nircmd.nearsoft.net slash set default sound device.html at the bottom of this you'll see a download nircmd if you click that it will download and once you unzip the file that downloads you'll have a uh, couple of options here. I'm just gonna run nircmd.exe. And actually, we're gonna install this as an administrator. So just right click on it, and click run as an administrator. And all you have to do is click copy to Windows directory. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again. Once you've done that, it's installed. So next thing we need to do is open a notepad file. And we're going to uh, type in a single line command. So the first thing we need to do is type nircmd, which calls this program to run uh, the next line. Um, so basically, you can see here on the Nearsoft uh, information page, um, the set default sound device uh, allows it to set the default sound device on Windows 7 Vista 2008. Um, it also works on Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. I'm using it on Windows 10. Um, all we need to do is set the device name of the device as it appears in the sound device list of Windows. And uh, the role is an optional uh, part and may contain one of the following values. Zero for console, one for multimedia, two for communications. We don't need to worry about the role. All we're concerned with is the command set default sound device and the device name. So if you want to copy that and come to your notepad, you can just type in NIRCMD, then the command set default sound device as one word. And then we need to go to our audio list to set the device name. So if you come down to the uh, little speaker icon, right click on it and click playback devices, you can see that we have a couple different things. So we have my monitors, um, they're the high definition audio devices because they are uh, HDMI. Um, we also have something listed as speakers, which is coming out of our Sound Blaster Recon 3DI sound card that's built into our Gigabyte motherboard. Then we have our SPDIF out and the Patriot Viper V360 headset. We want to set it to speakers. If you want to give this a different name or something, you can right click on it, properties, then you can change the speaker's name right there. We're just going to leave this default as speakers. So click OK. 
and you'll click, you know, it's speakers with a capital S. So we'll, after set default sound device, um, we need to do some quotation marks and then type in the name. So in this case, it's speakers. Um, with that done, we're going to save this. Just click save as, and I'm going to save it as, um, we'll save it as the default sound devi dot cmd uh, saving the extension as dot cmd is very important then with that saved you need to open a run command so if you just come down to the little uh, search bar and type in run hit enter it'll bring up the run prompt and if you just type in uh, shell colon startup, in there and click OK, it's going to open a uh, the startup folder. And in here, you can just go back to your uh, batch files folder or wherever you save it. And you can copy it. You can see I've previously done this and I've called it set default audio.cmd. So if you just highlight that and click control C, that will copy it. You go to the startup folder and paste it in here. It will be set in here. And what that does is everything in the startup folder runs on your computer startup. So any bash scripts you put in here will run when your computer starts up. So now when I reboot my computer, um, shortly after the startup sequence is set, the set default audio.cmd bash script will run and it, what it will do is set the default audio device from the Patriot Viper V360 headset that it likes the default to for some reason to the speakers. That's going to finish it up for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, click the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.